Okay, so now it's time to run the project, right? So in fact, if the project is running, we want to test it. So let's create the first quiz and let's see if the communication between the quiz service and the question service is really happening. So what I will do is I will open my Postman because that's what we are doing here. So let's go to Postman and okay, so what is our request? So the first thing you have to change is the port number. So we are running on port number 8090. The next thing you have to mention is the quiz and the URL is actually quiz slash create. So if you go back here, uh, that's what we are doing, right? Okay, so we are into quiz uh, controller. Yeah, so it is quiz slash create. So let's go back here. And so that's our URL. So we have to also send data, right? So what kind of data we want to send? It's very simple. Uh, if you can see, we need, to, we need to accept three things. That's your the quiz DTO, which has three things. The category name, the number of questions, and title. Okay, so what I will do is I will create a JSON here. The first thing we need to mention is the category name. So that's category name. And the category name we have is, let's say, Java. We want to get questions for Java. The next thing we want to mention is the number of questions. So I will say num questions. And OK, how many questions we want? Let's say five questions. And the next thing we want is the title. So we'll say title. And the current batch of uh, Java, which is going on, the batch name is Springers. Let's say Springers quiz one. That's the title for the quiz. And okay, so with this data, I will click on send and let's see what happens. Okay, we got an error, that's weird. Okay, there is a problem of 500. So let's check our server and let's see what is going wrong here. Something wrong with the fame client, okay. So it says not able to find something. What is not able to find? Uh, okay, so path slash generate is not found. Okay, that's weird. But if you see the exact URL, let's see. So we are hitting the question service, that's good. And then directly we are jumping on generate. Oh, okay. So if you remember, if you go back to your question service, the generate is basically after question. So we forgot to put the question there. Okay, so it should be question slash generate. So if you go back to your quiz service and quiz interface, where is that? Yeah. So you have to say question slash generate. In fact, for all, not just for this, it should be question slash get questions, question slash get score, say save it, and restart the server. I hope this, one, this time it will work. Okay, there's no error. Let's try once again, click on send. Oh, it says success, that's good. But is it really working? Let's try that. So there's no problem here. You can see, it, I think it, it tried to fire to the question service. Now the, there's on, only one way to check if the data is there in the database. So let's go back to our PG admin, which is not opening, I don't know why. Okay, PG admin. Okay, so if you can see, we have a quiz table. So basically the quiz DB is a database and the quiz is a table. And if you try to view the data here, yeah, so you can see that we got the quiz and the title is Springer's Quiz 1. And if you see the questions, and we got five questions. And these questions are actually coming from the question service because quiz has no idea about the question database, right? So the quiz service is actually interacting with the question service. Oh, finally, this is a video where we have basically interacting with the two services. Cool. Uh, let me just check the Eureka server. Is it saying something? Okay, things are looking good in Eureka. Okay, in fact, it is not showing the health. Uh, we should have added the actuator as well. You can see actuator is not added. Yeah, but then, okay, let's try to do that later. So yeah, that's how it works. That's how you are basically connecting with the help of Eureka server. So I hope you uh, have enjoyed it till now where we are basically able to run the project and things are working out. The two services are running out. Also, I wanted to check, the, we have two question services, right? So when a quiz service is calling the question service, which one is getting called? Let's try to understand that in the next video.